previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. world <gasps> thanks guys I marked that one down as fire world wow how'd you come up with that gem of a name okay did I miss something here yeah what's up with you what's up with me what's up I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah, uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <sighs> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal, and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh! 
Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand. Clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Worse than Fireworld or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. <laughs> Ooh, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? In my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> 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 
They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on, I'm really starting to think someone is behind all this and I intend to find out who. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Huh, not exactly the friendly type, is he? No, I guess not. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Yeah! Who? The... What? Huh? Was he still unfriendly? Sounded like he might have startled you. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. We need to leave now. What? But why? No, I'm afraid I must agree with Jesse. There's something wrong here, and I'd like to find our exit portal as soon as possible. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Are you looking for something? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? 
But, but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're uh, distinctive looking now. Okay, out with it. What's going on with these people? What's up with this town? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people, I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <sighs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. Hey, weirdos, back off. You will not command Tama. That is silly. Yeah, I don't think they like that. A decision has been made. Tama has questions. Ah. You will come to Tama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to keep resisting them? Because I don't think they like that. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody too badly. Ouch! Watch it! <laughs> you will be made useful. <laughs> What... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! Oh. What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be... Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am I talking to Pama right now? What is Pama? Some might call me a computer, a thinking machine, though there has never been a computer quite like me. My job is to be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. Pama, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! 
Pogo, I can't delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do, no more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? Our world is awful, like really awful. You'd hate it there. Your answer upsets me. <laughs> if I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? Big mistake, Pama. I'm not going down without a fight. Oh. It's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Let's ask Pama something that doesn't make sense, like a, uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Pama something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Pama. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Pama, what would you say if I told you it's weird to not be weird? But if it is weird to not be weird, then that means that being weird is normal, which by the transitive property means that it is normal not to be normal. It's working! Therefore, being normal is weird, which means that it is weird not to be weird. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status. On roll. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. This way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. Yeah. 
are left to run. We've never survived jumping down! We would with these. Excellent, Jesse! Now we just need to throw them in the right spot! As soon as they land! You're running, Maisie said! Why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Uh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be there a secret if you did see it, now would it? <laughs> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference. Okay, that cactus is in real life and the painting. I don't think that's connected. Oh. Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. That's connected. Oh. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim for that. Got it is. Just one after the other. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. <laughs> and looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water! Look at that! It's back to being just a normal zombie! 
Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It works! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt! Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. I... <laughs> Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. So you're saying Palma is crazy then? No, crazy is a horrible way to put it. Palma's just very driven and a little confused. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, 
everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palmer would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just going to leave my friends chipped up, though, right? We can still help them? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab a bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Come on, Petra, snap out of it. It's me. There is no Petra, only Pama. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, you get let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. 
Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Harper isn't crazy, she's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True, very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or. <laughs> wow. Hey, Harper. It is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone. You made all our lives better. Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. Oh, okay. So having the right item in the frame activates the circuit. Neat! These might come in handy. Awesome! This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her. One redstone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset.
that did the trick. Here we go. Whoa. starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really, it's a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. We can't let Pama win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you've freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Zombies is going to help get me past this wall. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. The signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Palma? Palma? 
No. Just what do you think you are doing, Chesty? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay. Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. But, Jesse, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go. We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let my go. My summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Pama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Your game is over, Pama. Oh no. Time to move. on this Pama. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. I'm here to rescue you, Harper. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Let's move. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Secret War! Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while I'm trying to explain things! No! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is done, Jesse. I think we can make that headset. 
Useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us, and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them. Redstone spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires, or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. to this Palma core anyway. On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. When is TNT not useful? Huh, sticks? Not sure how they're gonna help us, though. The redstone dust can activate the TNT. Awesome! But how am I gonna activate the redstone dust? TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities... Are endless. I want to be fast. Really, really fast. Give me the potion of swiftness. Fine. Don't rush me. With this, I'll be able to run super fast and lay down all the TNT and redstone before Palma even knows what happened. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff.
is that you can't see, because this won't work. My forces will protect the exit portal. Oh, no. My friends have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. How's that for clearing a path, huh? It's very nice, Jesse. Uh, low key. Hey, Jesse. Nice work. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Give me your buckets. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. Go we'll finish this and save Lucas.
can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. This is getting sad. The odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds.
Doctor, let me help you. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh! Ugh. You did it, Jesse! It's over! Oh no, Lucas! Is he... When you removed out the Redstone Heart, it must have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay! Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I'm just happy you're okay. I know that must have been tough, Jesse. But I know you'll never let me down. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside of Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I'd imagine Harper is better suited to answer that question. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How is this gonna do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, uh, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um... Yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. Harper built Palma with good intentions. What happened here is Palma's fault. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Hey, this drama is so not my problem. Yeah. Guess we'll figure it out ourselves. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home. Again. I may not have been from here originally, but... You stay someplace long enough, it'll start to feel like home. Feel bad that they'll always just remember me as some mad scientist that created a monster. Just one more thing left to do. Don't come back, Harper! We don't want you here. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, 
I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying to chip us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? <laughs>